Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for October 27, 2020. If you'd like to uh, support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And so on Monday's session, we saw the, the US dollar index appreciate quite significantly. And this had an, a, a big effect on commodities. Uh, even more, coronavirus is still a massive problem for the world economy. And so is that there's no stimulus bill from the United States. Um, so we are heading into the winter months. Well, it will probably look similar to what basically happened in um, uh, in um, March and April uh, because the world economy is not uh, showing signs of strength. It's basically showing signs of weakness. And that will, of course, have a very negative effect on most commodities and so on. But if you look at the, the US dollar index, we appreciate quite significantly on Monday's session. Uh, and at this point, we are still trading underneath the uh, 50 moving average. We are not trading above the 50 moving average. And as you can see, we have already started to decline again. So the 50 moving average is acting as a resistant. And at this point, uh, if we don't break the 50 moving average, we are just going to turn around and head to lower levels. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all fairly negative for the US dollar index, and they are quite flat at this point. Both the MACD and the stochastic are, are, are showing signs of weakness. The same goes for the CCI is basically flat, and the RSI is technically the only indicator that is a fairly, uh, well, it's all technically also flat. So there is not a lot of optimism here. Even though there was a, a pre appreciation on the Monday session, this kind of shows that we are just going to turn around. And the first signs of um, of support should be at 92.48 uh, and then lower than that. If we were to break the 50 moving average, then of course we'll go to these levels at 93.86 and then to 94.86. Uh, 76. So if you look at uh, oil, we saw that oil fell quite significantly over 2% on Monday session, but we're still trading above the 200 moving average. At this point, we are trading in between the 50 and the 200 moving average. However, I'm not optimistic for oil, as I said, for um, Monday's prediction due to the fact that the world economy is significantly affected by the coronavirus and it will be uh, significantly affected for several months to come. Uh, coronavirus numbers are just exploding all around the world and we haven't even reached uh, the colder months of the uh, coldest months of the year and things are expected to become much worse so there will be no um, or less traveling by air there will be less traveling by by sea so airlines cruise companies transportation and so on everything will be affected and of course there will be less and less demand for oil and therefore this market will will just every single time it shows signs of strength uh, people uh, sellers will come in and basically sell this market and so on so at this point 50 moving average should be the absolute um, absolute top of this market we'll see time and ten time and time the same thing here we'll try to get you know, close to the 50 moving average get a little bit above and then break down it doesn't mean that every time we basically just touch the 50 moving average that we'll, we'll see sellers come in. We'll see something similar to this. 
we'll see a uh, few uh, trading days where we trade above the 50 moving average. Seems like we're going to break to the upside and then we just completely break to the downside. Um, at this point, only a war in the Middle East or uh, um, some kind of, uh, of, uh, of um, massive uh, cut in the, um, the supply of oil it will make this market go higher. And at, at this point, there is no war in the horizon and OPEC is not um, um, considering doing any massive cuts at this point. So if we break the 200 moving average, that opens the door to the these lower levels. That is uh, for uh, thirty six dollars. And if that breaks, we'll go to thirty five, and then also to thirty dollars. We have been trading uh, within the range of forty three dollars to thirty six dollars for several months now, and we're reaching the lower part of this range. If that breaks, then we are going to go significantly lower. We can look at the Fibonacci retracement here and see that the first Fibonacci retracement is uh, exactly at 30 or $30 around this range here. And that won't happen straight away. Uh, but look up below if, if this lower um, support line it breaks because that means that we'll just go absolutely collapse to the downside. If you look at technical indicators and they are not looking uh, promising for for oil, MACD has completely turned around. So has the uh, stochastic. The CCI is technically flat at this point, and the so is the RSI. So, but we need to break the, the two hundred moving average in order to go lower. And at this point, we can see that the two hundred moving average acted as as support. Um, a break up from here, that you know, 50 moving average will act as support. And if that breaks, then we, the max that will go is basically to these levels is for $41. So look at natural gas. We can see that we went a little bit higher on Monday session. Uh, we are at this point quite overstretched. We are not overbought yet we're at 67 but the technical indicators are showing signs of weakness for example the macd is not uh, doesn't look as promising as it did um, only a few trading sessions ago and it is a sign that we most likely will cross the signal line and that we will head towards the 50 moving average so if we stretch it and we are quite stretched we'll see something like this we'll have a day where there where the market falls around 3 4 5% uh, towards the, the 50 moving average and then we'll start um, um, increasing again we can see that uh, cci has been significantly overbought or overbought territory for uh, several for several trading days now and that usually ends with something like this that you basically just break down quite significantly uh, towards the downside. The 50 moving average should be uh, the bottom of this market. If that breaks, then of course that opens the door to the 200 moving average. But at this point, I don't believe that the 50 moving average will be uh, will break. Um, it will be the buying opportunity to to uh, for this market if we get close to the 50 moving average, similar to what happened here in the um, in the beginning of October and the end of September. So if we go if we go higher from here, then of course we will go to these levels. This is just above. You can see previously in 2019 is 3.39 and then beyond. Uh, it seems like this market is about it doesn't have the same strength as it did um, only only two weeks ago. Um, so I'm expecting a turnaround here or towards the 50 moving average and that opens the door for a buy for this market. So if you look at copper, 
We can see that we can are continuing our decline. This was an absolutely, I don't know why this happened, but this was basically, didn't make any sense whatsoever. There just isn't that demand out there for copper, as there is no demand out there for oil at this point. And therefore, if you see an um, 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 increase in the price of copper similar to this, where we get into significant oversold territory, that is at this point a signal to sell this market. Um, as I said, copper, oil, most major uh, commodities that, that um, drive the world economy are in a decline at the moment because the world economy is basically in, in decline and in recession. So there's no point expecting this market to uh, go to previous um, 2018, 2000, uh, 2017 levels when the economy is at this point. At this point. However, we are trading above the 50 moving average, but the technical indicators for copper are very negative. You can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line, so stochastic is pointing to lower levels, the CCI is pointing to lower levels, and we have a RSI right in the middle, and that means that we have a lot of room to the downside if we were to break below the 50 moving average. And at some, some point, I do believe that it's going to happen. I do believe that we are going all the way down towards the 200 moving average at 2.6. And major oil producers, no, not all oil producers, but you know, producers of copper, also expect that the price of copper is going to be around 2.6 uh, uh, range within the end of the year. And... Um, Yes, but if we find support at the 50 moving average and bounce, then of course the highs here should be absolute uh, the maximum that this market would go. Um, a break below the 50, uh, 50 moving average opens the door to these lows at 2.9, then 2.84, and then 2.8, and then all the way down to 2.6. So you look at gold. So gold is still staying underneath the 50 moving average, even though we uh, we uh, uh, we have tried several times to get to above the 50 moving average. It seems like that is a hopeless cause. So what is happening at this point is that we either technically explode to the upside, or we go to the downside. Downside would see us test the uh, 1850 level and then to 1800 and 1800 is probably the market the area where most buyers will come in and and hold this for the long run there's going to be an enormous amount of stimulus the coming months probably also the coming years central banks will basically be Flooding the markets with with uh, with uh, well cheap liquidity, and that will just be extremely bullish for this market. Currencies will just become more and more uh, uh, more worthless, and therefore this will basically become the uh, market to go to for uh, safe haven trading. Um, we can see that at the 1800 level, we have this area here, which was previous area, which we never ever basically uh, tested again. We exploded to the upside. We have been trading gradually downwards ever, ever since. And I believe when we get to this area, which is at exactly the 1800 area, that most buyers will come in again and buy this market. Um, so at this point, I don't believe that we'll break the 50 moving average. And even though we do, uh, we have significant resistance just above this area here. 
So if the 50 moving average was difficult to get through, then that area is going to be even more difficult to get through. So a pullback towards this area and then uh, go um, trading the upside would make much more sense and we will have a lot more momentum in order to get to the 50 moving average and also this area here. Technical indicators for, for gold are fairly bullish. They have turned around a little bit. We can see that uh, RSI is flat, the CCI is pointing to higher levels, the stochastic is flat, and the MACD is also flat. But at this point, I am favoring the upside, um, mainly due to the reason that we have been trading in such a way that we have fallen significantly, traded sideways, fallen significantly, traded sideways, and then expect a third fall, then trade sideways, and then we go to the higher levels. So silver, we can see that is very similar to gold. We are not even getting close to the 50 moving average. Uh, we have also broken down, traded sideways, broken down, traded sideways, and I'm expecting another breakdown and then trade sideways before we go to higher levels. This market shows signs of basically round, rounding off. So the 50 moving average will travel something like this and then go down here. Whether or not we cross the 200 moving average, it's going to be a question that we'll, that we'll, we'll basically see within uh, a few weeks. If that is the case, then we probably go to much lower levels. But I do expect that the $20 range around this area here will be our absolute bottom. And that will also coincide with the 200 moving average moving up toward this area. If you look at technical indicators for silver, they are similar to gold. Uh, they are a little bit more negative. If you look at uh, RSI, it's flat. The CCI is pointing to higher levels. The stochastic is negative, And the MACD is about to cross the signal line. And that is also a negative sign. 50 moving average is... Uh, uh, working as significant resistance at the, the at this point, and even even though that we break the 50 moving average, we will have this entire area above here acting as resistant, and that will be quite um, difficult to get through. So I do believe that will break down eventually at some point. Uh, we'll first of all test uh, 21.58, and then go down to 20 before. Uh, buyers to come in and basically hold this for the long run. So, Kokoa. We saw quite a lot of movement in Kokoa uh, on Monday session. However, we are trading at the moment in between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. Um, if we break the 50 moving average, then of course that opens the high, the, the, the um, opportunity to go to 2.54.9 uh, and then beyond to 2.698. If we break below the um, 200 moving average, then that opens the door to these lows at 2.3 and then to 2.2 and then to 2.0. At this point, we are trading within this range of the highs at 2.7 and the lows of 2.0. Zero. The thing with, with this market is that if we see uh, coronavirus as it is at the moment getting out of control, we may see something like this. There has been a lot of production cuts uh, within this market since, uh, since uh, March, so it probably won't be as drastic as this. But, but we saw what the coronavirus basically uh, how it affected this market back in 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 February March and so on, and this is most likely also going to be the case if uh, economy starts shutting down and so on. So even though this looks uh, quite bullish, I would not be surprised if we completely turned around. Um, if if uh, if um, if the world economy starts shutting down again. The top of the market should be 
the bottom of this market should be 2.0. So at this point, this is almost a hopeless market to enter because we can go to the upside. We can also collapse to the downside. And there is no clear, real clear indication of where we are going at this point. Um, if you look at technical indicators, they look fairly bullish, but they also look like they are about to turn around at this point. The MACD has just crossed the signal line. That is bullish. And the stochastic is bullish at this point, but it's showing signs of basically turning around. The CCI is also showing signs of turning around. And the RSI is a little bit bullish. A little bit. Nearly flat. So, at this moment, this is a market I'm just staying way away, uh, just basically staying away from because I need a clear signal um, a green candlestick above the 50 minute week average but that just opens the door towards 2.7 a clear signal that we break below the 200 minute week average but that opens the door to 2.3 and maybe 2.2 and so on so if we look at platinum We can see that the 200 move and the 50 moving average acted as support, um, and at this point we broke, acted as resistance, sorry, and then we broke down quite significantly. We are now heading back towards the 200 moving average, and at this point the technical indicators are all uh, turning around. The MACD is still about the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. Uh, CCI has turned around and also RSI has turned around. So we are going back to the 200 moving average. If that breaks, then we'll of course um, trade uh, test these lows again of 825. And then we will run into this area here, which should be um, significant support there. And underneath that, we should have additional uh, support. So I would not be surprised if we just continued in the same pattern trading in between the 50 and the 200 moving average for uh, some time. If you break below uh, this area here, then of course, there's a lot of support underneath. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to 940 and to 980. Uh, around 80 and then to 1000. So, technical indicators are showing that we are going lower, and we're the first uh, signs of, of support will be the 200 moving average at uh, 18, 859. So, if we look at uh, sugar, we can see that we uh, are about we are showing signs of basically slowing down we are not we're not in this bullish run uh, that we were in three weeks ago we are trading uh, sideways at the moment and that could be a sign that we are going to head towards the 50 moving average if you look at the technical indicators they are also showing signs of weakness the, stochastic, the MACD is getting close to the signal line, and that means that we will cross probably within one or two trading sessions. The stochastic is completely flat at this point, and that could mean that we'll go um, down. Our CCI is showing signs of, of uh, bearishness, and the um, RSI is still overbought. So a pullback towards the 50 moving average uh, basically opens the door for a buy in this market. There's no sign of the of this um, signs that this market is going to uh, break down uh, below the 50 moving average. Subsequently, we have a trend line here that if we were to break through the 50 moving average, this will be a massive support at this point. We are also we can also see that we are trading within this channel at this point and we are basically at the top of the channel we can basically say that because we are we are technically rounding off so what will happen here is uh, what most likely will happen here 
is that we are rounding out towards the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we have this support line here, and then we'll go higher. I don't expect us to break the 50 moving average. That will be, um, we need, well, that will be significant uh, support when we go, go, uh, go towards that area. But if that breaks, then of course we have this support line here and that will be our next line of defense and then we'll continue higher. So we are overstretched, we are overbought and technical indicators are showing signs of weakness and that means that we'll most likely head to the downside. So if you look at wheat, we can see very similar pattern here. We have uh, hit the top of the range uh, uh, last week. And at this point, I do believe that we are going to, first of all, test these this uh, support area here at 592 uh, and then maybe go towards the 50 moving average. Um, a, a touch of the 50 moving average is basically a buying opportunity for this market. A break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 200, but... At this point, we are in an uptrend, and there's no reason to believe that we are going to break below the 50 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are looking really bearish at this point. MACD has crossed the signal line. Sarcastic has crossed the signal line. CCI is pointed to lower levels, and the RSI is basically, it was overbought, but we are at 62 and that is uh, well it's high but not that high but we are overstretched and we need basically a pullback towards the 50 moving average in order to go higher in this market it is quite well this this move was quite par parabolical so so a uh, pullback towards the 50 moving average is basically what we are waiting for in order to enter this market there's no reason to buy this market at this moment just wait in order to, for this market to fall as far as possible in order to enter for a buy uh, position. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, uh, by hitting this subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.